as we are set for an intercontinental welterweight championship fight between Hector Pena and Yoel Judah. Dan Walker along with John Worley to call the action for you. And John, this is going to be a pretty good fight. Yoel Judah, of course, is a guy that we have seen before, and he is fast, he is good, and he is a he's been around a good while. He's a tough competitor. Well, you know, he has been around a long time. He's 39 and 1 with 33 knockouts. He's got eight straight knockouts in his last eight fights. He's a really very cool, calm sort of a fighter. You know, he does he never gets excited in the ring. He's always He's got the same look on his face, and he's a great counterpuncher. And as you can see there, Yoel Judah, very serious look on his face. And he will fool you. He does not look to be, he looks like he's carrying a little extra weight there, John. But I got to tell you, he looks like that every time we see him. And every time we see him, he fights a great fight. Let's go up to our ring announcer, Danny Valdivia. Here we go, this bout is for the vacant Intercontinental Welterweight Championship, 10 rounds. Our referee, Marcos Rosales. In the blue corner from Brooklyn, New York, with a professional record of 39 wins, one loss, 33 big wins by knockout at 147, Yoel Judah. In the red corner from Wilmington, California, Eight wins, one draw is a professional. Seven wins by knockout at 144, Hector Pena. Second toss, please. All right, gentlemen, these are a few rules that I didn't go over inside the referee. There is a standing A count. So if the fighters do get in trouble, I will utilize that rule. Do you understand? Okay, the three knockdown rule is also in effect. Is there any questions? Remember, keep your kicks above the waist. Touch gloves, good luck. See the tail of the tape there, Hector Pena. He's a young man, 19, eight wins, seven knockouts. This is a big shot for him to fight someone like Judah. 5'5", five, five, he's 144 pounds. Judah, 39 wins, 33 knockouts. It's a very, very impressive record. But Judah has not been real active over this last, over the last year and a half, two years. Uh, most of his fights came during the early and mid 80s. So it might be interesting to see if this young man, this 19-year-old kid, can uh, overcome all of that experience. Bell for round one. Hector Pena, the black shorts. Yoel Judah in the red pants. This again, the Intercontinental Welterweight Championship. Scheduled for 10 rounds. And John, you know what you... I got to be asking myself. Here's a, here's a kid, Hector Pena. He's got really nothing to lose here. No matter what happens, he's fighting a great fighter. If he wins, it's a big boost to his career. If he loses, hey, he lost to Yoel Judah. That's not a black mark against you. Well, the only way it would be a bad situation is if he really gets devastated. If Judah knocks him out early and really, really takes a lot out of him, that could be a bad because he is so inexperienced. But beyond that, if he loses a close decision, uh, you know, you're right. It's not that's not going to hurt him. And again, as long as he's not physically hurt, and beat up, then he can certainly value and gain from this. Front leg round kick there by Hector Pena looked pretty good to me, John. It was blocked, but it was thrown nicely. Nice spinning back fist. Come, takes him off the ropes with a front kick to the midsection. But you see, it doesn't look intimidated, does you it? Look at Judah's face, and it's just like nothing ever happened. I was really impressed with how quickly he followed that spinning back kick with the front kick. I mean, that was that's tough to do. And he came across there with a really explosive kick. And he's taking it right to Judah at this point. Well, and I guess, it, it, you know, when you're that inexperienced, that's what you want to do. If you're going to catch the guy at all, you're going to catch him early. And again, the old Judah, as you say, the impassive face and a wild spinning back kick by Hector Pena. He is not bashful, John. He's not afraid at all. He's not intimidated. He is throwing some serious kicking technique out there. That was a real a beautiful spinning hook kick. And he is throwing some hard, heavy stuff up around the old Judah's head. As we go under 10 seconds, and this is the first round of a scheduled 10-round Intercontinental Welterweight Championship. You are looking into the corner of Hector Pena and John uh, with Martin Santos in there. What do you suppose they're telling him right now? 
I would tell if I were Martin, I would tell him to slow down, you know, settle down a little bit. Don't get too wild. He's got, the, you know, he's got 10 rounds to go here, and he is against a guy that's had a lot of experience. So I, you wouldn't try to pump him up and make him keep no. on this roll because obviously he did fairly well in that round. He's pumped enough already. <laughs> yeah, well, there is that. We're going to see a nice round kick here, spinning, spinning back kick right in the chest. That lands, that drives Judah back in the ropes. And you see he comes across with that front kick. And that Judah was fortunate not to eat that one full force. And the start of round two, scheduled 10 for the Intercontinental Welterweight Championship. The red pants, Yoel Judah, the black shorts, Hector Pena. And again, Joel Judah, by a great long ways, the more experienced of the two fighters. Hector Pena, young but not bashful, as we say. How'd you score the first round, John? I gave the first round to Pena 10-9 because he certainly provided the most action. He landed some solid kicks, and he pushed the fight. What'll be interesting, I think, is to see whether Joel Judah who has made a career out of having excellent timing, being able to counterpunch, whether he's going to be able to figure out the timing of this young man and start to turn all of this aggressiveness against Pena. Uh, against Pena. Pena with a good right hand there, a front kick behind it, and Yoel Judah for the first time shows just a little bit of an expression on his face as he tries to go underneath on Pena, and Pena makes him pay. A right hand by Pena over the top. And John, I am impressed with Hector Pena. I am too. He's really out here and, and he's enthusiastic and he's excited about this opportunity. You know, right now, Pena's having a good time. He's having fun. We are under a minute in round two of a scheduled 10 round fight, and Yoel Judah has not really done anything yet. Of course, it is a long time, 10 rounds. Okay, break it, gentlemen. Break it. Let's go. Come on. The question is how long, John? Can the emotion of young Hector Pena last before he has to do some damage in order to keep the roll going? Yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. You know, he's out here now, he's excited, he's got all this energy built up. When the fight wears on, it, it may be tough for him to keep that explosiveness, and if, he, if it is, that's where we should see Joel Judah start to uh, play a more dominant part of this fight. And as we move under 10 seconds here in round two, Hector Pena giving a great account of himself in this championship fight. The thing that fighters are afraid of more than anything else is just like this, button heads. They, that's the thing that concerns a fighter more than getting punched or kicked at any time, is running those heads together, coming out of it with a cut. And luckily it appears that neither fighter was cut as we are into round three now. Scheduled 10 rounder on your left, Joel Judah. On your right with the black short pants is Hector Pena. Dan Walker along with John Worley. This is for the Intercontinental Welterweight Championship. And John, how do you have it scored at this point? I gave the first two rounds to Hector Pena by a 10-9 margin. So, ooh, nice right hand there by Yoel Judah. But uh, I've got uh, Pena ahead at this point in the fight, 2018. And the voice you may be able to hear in the background is by J is John Arthur, who is in the corner talking to Yoel Judah as Judah has taken a shot here and takes another one there, a nice little short one underneath. The old Judah's getting all he can handle here in this third round from Hector Pena. Well, again, Yo Judah has not had a lot of activity. He's fought, he fought four months ago. That was the first fight he'd had in, in about a year. And so he's not, you know, he's not having as many uh, fights as he'd like. And that rust could make some difference here against a guy like Pena who is fighting real frequently now, although he's just getting started. Although the last time we saw Judah was a couple of years ago, John, and he doesn't look to me like he's lost anything here. He certainly uh, doesn't appear to have slowed down, does he to you? No, not really. It's just that he's having trouble landing everything right now. He's, his timing and everything is off, and he's eating some stuff that he wouldn't, I would think he wouldn't have uh, gotten hit with maybe a couple of years ago. And wouldn't you guess, as we move under 30 seconds in the round here, oh, that's a nice front leg round kick by Pena, but it was blocked. Under 20 seconds here in round three. Well, this is the pace now that you want to see that, that uh, Judah wants to have. This is a much more subtle pace. Round four, the Intercontinental Welterweight Championship in the short pants, Hector Pena, a young man, 19 years old, against as wily a veteran as you'll ever find, Yoel Judah in the red pants, takes the high round kick to the head, does Judah. And, John, I have to tell you, I'm surprised. I did not think that this fight would be 
uh, this competitive this far into it here into the fourth round? How do you have it scored? I gave the last round an even round. They just, it just seemed to me that that was a rest round for Pena. He moved around a little more cautiously. He wasn't nearly, uh, he was a little more conservative in the way through his technique. And uh, Judah had a little better round, but not a dominant round at all. He just seems like he's coming back again this round and throwing, throwing more stuff. The thing I wanted to ask you, and uh, you're looking at the kid Pena here that he has been real active, but not on the national scene. The old Judah, a national fighter, chances are he has never seen Hector Pena before. And chances are he doesn't know what to expect out of this kid, so it's going to take him a few rounds to, to figure him out. As we see a back a spin move there that uh, is jammed by Judah. Well, that's true. But, you know, on the other hand, since Judah really hasn't been that active in the last few years, Pena hasn't really seen him either. So well, that's we have, true, too. We have guys here, who, and I don't think that the, you know, the reputation, oh, nice spin hook kick that landed up about his knee, you know. <laughs> he hit him with a thigh on that when he stayed the foot. Eye on the shoulder didn't hurt him, but it certainly counted for a point as Judah now throwing the straight right hand there. I guess he thought he saw something that didn't work. And again, Pena on your left, 19 years old, the old Judah. As we move under 30 seconds, he's 30 years old. And again, to tell you the truth, John, you, how did you have that last one scored? I had even the last one. So we talk, Leo Judah really hasn't done no, anything yet at all in this fight. But you know, that's not really unlike him. He has a tendency to sometimes start kind of slow. Round five, scheduled 10, Intercontinental Welterweight Championship. We're at the Hollywood Palladium. Dan Walker with John Worley. Hector Pena, the black pants. Yoel Judah, the red pants. And through into this fifth round, John, how do you have it scored? I gave the last round to Hector Pena, 10-9, so I've got him up by three points, 40 to 37. All right, and an inadvertent low blow there, and Pena is okay, so they are back at it. Yoel Judah is not the kind of fighter who would do that with any intent. And again, Hector Pena, the story here, a young man, 19 years old, took this fight on short notice, and he is giving Yoel Judah everything he can handle. A good right hand by Judah. That's the first punch, and Judah is down. Yoel Judah got caught with the left hand backing up, and he's hurt. He is staggering around the ring. I don't think Yoel Judah has ever been down before in his career. That's the first time I've ever seen him down. And he looks still hurt to me. He sure does. Good left underneath by Hector, and another right hand, and Judah's hurt again. A left by Judah, another left, and no, Judah's down. And he is getting up, but he is very wobbly. The count is six, and he is blank in the eyes. No, no. The fight is over. The fight is over. Yo, Judah protesting now, saying he didn't want to quit. Judah wants the fight, and the fight is over. It is too late. The old Judah has been knocked out by 19-year-old upstart Hector Pena. And, John, I don't believe it. Incredible turn of events here. Hector Pena showing tremendous power there. You know, we saw he had seven knockouts out of eight wins. And he certainly showed that power against a very experienced, a very seasoned Yo Judah. Yo Judah still trying to get across the ring, but I couldn't tell. The referee asked him something. Yo Judah responded, gave some response. The referee waved it off, and Judah then acted like he, he was shocked by what the referee was doing. I'm not sure what happened there. We'll have to find out. I think part of the problem was that when Judah answered, he was not looking in the referee's eyes. He was looking away from him, and Judah still at this moment is not steady on his feet. John Worley will talk to the new Intercontinental Welterweight Champion, Hector Pena, who has surprised everybody here with a knockout of the veteran, Yoel Judah. It started with a right hand in the fifth.